Hey, it's John here. Let's let's get this. Okay, so I just wanted to make you a little video today about this idea of financial freedom and independence and what it actually means because this is why, okay? Because I think you can probably understand the concept of financial freedom intellectually in your head right okay you've got enough money coming in to be able to do what you want right you can probably even imagine if you close your eyes and visualize you can probably even imagine aspects of the lifestyle you know how what you would do all right maybe you know you'd you, you've got the money you've got the time you know maybe you'd hit the beach maybe you'd go traveling maybe you'd go on an adventure maybe you wouldn't you know maybe you'd just like to spend time in your shed pursuing your hobby or hanging out with your family, your loved ones, right? But what you cannot understand is the actual reality of it at first hand, because this has just happened to me. Okay, I've just taken, you know, you know, if you've been watching my little videos that I send out to you from time to time, you'll, you'll know that I've just spent four months in a, in another country I took my laptop and the business just continued as as it does. You know, I mean, I have to write emails and I, I'm on one or two calls during the week. So I work on, I'm committed to being available and online on Tuesday afternoons and Wednesday afternoons. But that's it. You know, if I choose to write or do any other work at any other time, it's um it's out of choice, not out of obligation. So I have all this time on my hands. And this is this could be a problem. And the reason I say that is because we've all been so conditioned by society, by the way things are, by our jobs, our lifestyles, that we do not even realise that we're not free. If you have a job and if if you have any any debt whatsoever or any financial obligations whatsoever even if you don't have a mortgage even if you have just rent to pay you've got to go to work to get the money right and you're not free and you don't get this until you are free when you're free when there's enough money coming in automatically in the background. So the money, you do the work. I'm not saying you don't do any work. You, ha you have to do the work. Obviously, you have to do the work. You have to train. You have to learn. You have to educate yourself how to automate your income. This is what I'm all about. All right. So once you've automated your income, and what that means is that the money just flows into your bank account automatically without you having to go to work. You did the work once, you have automated systems and software and technology in place on the internet, online, and that, and that automates a sales process for you on your behalf. That does the work so that you don't have to. Okay, I hope this is clear. You're gonna learn about digital marketing. You're gonna learn how, how to sell things online. And there are broadly two skill sets that you're going to learn. The tech, which don't let that worry you because I'm no good with the tech. I just, you know, other people do most of that for me. That's not a problem. You can have other people do that for you. You know, it's not, uh, it's not a big deal at all. The other part of the equation is the communication. And, um, you know, when you learn how to put the right message in front of the right person at the right time, then you've got, then you've got a business proposition. And, um, and, and an income, and an income stream. So the reality of having all this time on our hands when we, when we have an automated income is that having historically been used to going to work and having to squeeze a life in around our jobs, I didn't really know how to spend my time. I had so much, I have so much time on my hands. What do I do with it? How do I want to spend my time? Who do I want to spend it with? I mean, often during the course of the week, a lot of other people aren't around anyway because they're at work, you know? So I need to start, and you need to think about this as well, you know, what would you do? What would, on earth would you do with all this time? You have to start to 
rethink how you're going to spend your days. You know, if you if you if you don't just want to not get out of bed, you know, you've got to start thinking about reinventing yourself. And you can. And this is the joy of this. And another joy, I think, is that once the money's sorted out, you can be much more charity minded, if you like. You know, so I'm not suggesting you give your money away, but you can do that if you want to, to, you know, causes that you believe in. But you've also got the time in order to assist other people. So I now do a number of things that are completely free of charge. I, I do for no financial reward whatsoever, but they're designed to give other people a, a leg up, you know, a bit of a lift, because I can, and because I have the experience and the knowledge and understanding of how this all works. This is how I choose to spend some of my time these days. And um, yeah, and I'm still in the process of reinventing myself. But but the 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 point is that yeah, you're going to have so much time on your hands. I'm not suggesting it's going to be a problem, but you're going to have to think long and deep and hard about how you want to spend that time in order to make life satisfying, rewarding, meaningful. Um, And that's today's little little video for you i don't want to go on too long because otherwise um I'll, I'll be in danger of boring you so we'll pick up another subject in another vid on another occasion thank you very much for watching